What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much again for tuning in. If you're new here, my name is Javon and this is my YouTube channel. Uh, make sure if you like today's content that you subscribe to my channel below and hit post notifications so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Today's video is going to be about the beginning of my skincare journey. Uh, as a black man, as a man in general, I think it's important that you keep your skincare regimen good because skincare stops you from looking old before you're supposed to. And I know they say black don't crack unless you do crack, but I don't care. I'm just trying to be extra, extra, extra careful. My grandparents look great, but I'm trying to look even greater. You know what I'm saying? So I went to an esthetician. Um, an esthetician is not a dermatologist, uh, but they do deal in a lot of things skin. One of my friends from high school is actually a licensed esthetician in New York. Um, and she services in New York and New Jersey area. And so I decided to go to her to one, support black business, but also because it's someone that I'm comfortable with. The type of person that I am, I'm not always comfortable being very vocal with people that I don't know. And a lot of times I don't really ask as many questions as I want because I feel like I'm annoying them. But because I know her, I was able to ask a million questions. She went through the entire procedure with me after it was over and kind of went step by step through what she did and then also made some recommendations on products that I should be using moving forward. So yes, I went to the Skin Boutique. I'm going to insert the Instagram right here. Um, and it's a skin studio in Brooklyn, New York. So anybody watching this who lives in Brooklyn or lives in the New York City area, pretty convenient to get to. I'll link her website also in the description box below so that you guys can make an appointment if you want. Um, and I also have clips because she allowed me to record the session while I was there. What intrigued me about the Skin Boutique, not only being something that was you know owned and operated by someone that I know, but there was also a specific facial made for men that she had and I saw a few clips on Instagram that kind of piqued my interest and made me book my appointment with her. When you book your appointment with her, you have to do a skincare questionnaire and that's basically where you tell her a little bit about your skin if you've had problems with your skin and things like that. So when I, when I did my questionnaire, I said that my skin was dry. I do have eczema on my face around my nose uh, and this eyebrow and then I also have a patch that comes up here. Um, and I've learned to like regulate that, but I did say that my skin was dry partially because of that. I wasn't 100% sure, so I just kind of picked what I thought. Um, and then she also asked if you have any other issues like rosacea or like, you know, things like eczema, psoriasis, and then also if you're allergic to anything. So when you get there, she has products set up based on the questionnaire that you have answered. So if you have dry skin, you know, she puts stuff that's like very hydrating and very like, moisturizing to your skin um, so that she can use it throughout the session. And then if she sees any any differences or anything that she could add or whatever, she you know pulls them from the side as well. She did a deep clean on my skin first um, and kind of just got in there with the cleanser. Um, and then she did like a hot towel the entire time. Well, for most of the time there was steam running, especially when I first started, I guess to kind of like bring moisture to my face as well. Not 100% sure what the steam was for, but it was cool while it was happening. It, was, it just felt real relaxing. Like I felt like I was at peace. She had the music playing. It was like a little shot. you know, real, real vibes, vibe. And I really liked that. Um, so yeah, she she did a deep clean, and you know, she kind of got into my beard and like into my face or whatever. And then uh, she wiped it off with a hot towel. And then the next thing she did, which she explained to me, was like a vitamin C uh, sort of treatment. There was a bunch of different vitamin C products and then also like serums um, that kind of help with like brightening and a bit of like hyperpigmentation and stuff like that. Just because I have like a few like darker spots on my face um, throughout. So, well, maybe not throughout. I don't really know. But she said she did that for brightening and uh, stuff like that. So... That was the next thing. She put all that stuff on my face using like a brush, I believe. And then she uh, 
did the hot towel again and wiped all that off. After that, she did extractions, which come as part of it as well, where, you know, they remove, like, stuff out of your pores. So for me, basically, she took a light. She covered my eyes with, I, I don't know if it was like a paper towel, like a cloth or whatever, but she covered my eyes and put like a very bright light over my skin and kind of went into like a skin examination. And she told me that my skin was actually more hydrated than she originally thought. It was going to be based on my questionnaire. So um, she did extraction. She said I had a few blackheads in my nose, which after I left there, my nose was so smooth. And I never really peeped that it wasn't smooth until it was actually like clean. And then I was like, oh, so anyway, um, yeah, she did a few extractions. Most of it like was concentrated in my nose. Um, and there was like a few other small spots, but it was mostly my nose. I will say that the extractions, they're not painful. Like it didn't hurt, but it was definitely uncomfortable. Uh, there was like a bit of pressure to kind of get the stuff out. So I would say kind of like go into it knowing that if you've never done like a facial or never got extractions before. The next thing she did, which was the biggest reason why I went, it was like a beard treatment and basically it's like this machine that is connected to and she puts like a cloth over your beard and then what happens is the machine uh, detects like bacteria within your beard and once it detects the bacteria it zaps like it's not like a hard zap like you don't feel like you're getting like electrocuted but it is like a little bit of a shock um, where it's killing the bacteria and the bacteria can cause acne other inflammation, uh, ingrown hairs, and also prevent growth. So this kind of like clears your skin of that uh, bacteria that kind of just gets into your beard throughout the day, um, or if you don't kind of like wash it often enough, etc. Uh, this machine kind of kills that bacteria for a bit and like fosters hair growth and also kind of you know helps your face to remain smooth under the hair that's there. She started it at a low frequency, and then she uh, gradually increased the frequency of it. So the zap, the shocks or whatever, they did get a little bit more intense, but not to the point where it's painful. And she also continued to ask me if I was okay throughout. So that kind of made it a little better too. I kind of let her know if it was uncomfortable at some point. So I'm like, all right, or not. And then after that, she did a hydro jelly mask. And basically this is like a mask that uh, fosters moisture as well. Everything she did across the board was like moisture inducing for my face, which was because I said it was dry in the first place. So everything kind of had like a moisture aspect to it just so that my face was very, very hydrated once this was done. So she mixed the mask in a bowl and kind of put it over like this portion of my face, including like over my eyes. Um, and what's crazy is like, as she asked like, oh, do you, my, do you want me to put it over your eyes or not? And I was just like, yeah, sure, like why not? And she was like, oh, well I asked because you know, some people have anxiety and you know, I don't really want nobody to go into like a panic attack or an anxiety attack in the chair because they feel like they don't have control of like what they can see. Cause once it's over your eyes, you can't open them. And I was like, you know, that's real considerate. I didn't even think about it. Like, I didn't even think about that when I said yes. Um, but I think that was also like small, like very, you could tell that it was like well thought through the entire process. And uh, you know, her customer service was really amazing. I would say <laughs> be mindful though, because when she did cover my eye, I, I never wanted to open my eyes so bad. <laughs> like, you know, like I feel like it took extreme concentration for me to keep my eyes closed for that long. Like it wasn't a long time, but because it was something over my eyes, I had like such an urge and I keep closing my eyes now remembering it, but I had such an urge to open my eyes and I couldn't. Um, but while that was drying, she did do like a hand and arm massage as well, which was cool. Um, and then she like rolled back the mask 
uh, and then kind of like did a final, you know, go over in my face and then we were done. When I tell you when I got up, I felt like I was so relaxed because it, it was an hour of just like me, I had my eyes closed. I was answering a few questions, but for the most part, my eyes were just closed. The music was going, you know, I felt real like, real fancy, real bougie. Um, so I really, really like that. If you know me, I like fancy stuff. I like, I like luxury stuff. So um, my experience at Skin Boutique, 10 out of 10, no complaints at all. I think it was a great experience from top to bottom. It did. It was an hour long, as I mentioned before, so I definitely think it was worth the money. We're gonna keep with the skincare videos. Like I said, I'm not trying to look like a grandpa before it's time. I'm really trying to get into the skincare stuff. There's a few things on my skin that I definitely want to fix. Um, so I'm just gonna keep kind of keep in contact with Dominique and then also kind of do my own research of certain things. Um, and kind of move on from there. Oh, I did want to add in that she recommended a few products for me. Once we were done, like I said, she explained what she did. And then I also asked her like, you know, are there any products that you recommend? She gave me like, uh, what is it called? She gave me like drugstore product recommendations and then also like more high end product recommendations. The, the face wash I was using was the clean and clear. So it was, it was from the drugstore, from Walgreens, CVS, whatever. So she recommended a Neutrogena Hydro Boost product and I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. Um, so I bought the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. Boost hydration for soft, supple skin effectively, re bleh, effectively removes makeup and impurities, which I don't wear makeup, but this is it. And then I also bought the Hydro Boost Water Gel, which is like like a moisturizer after you wash your face, your face is gonna be dry, so you put a moisturizer on. And this is it. Um, if you guys wanna make an appointment, you know, tell Dominique I sent y'all if y'all came straight from this video. Thank y'all so much again for tuning into my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every time I have a new video. And thank y'all again for tuning in. See y'all in the next vid.